Superbike Speed Fest at Monterey. For Mission King of the Baggers here at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca in Monterey, California, it's our sixth round of nine for 2024. And race one is coming up on a spectacular day for racing motorcycles and racing big B twins. Oh, very nice uh, field. I mean, uh, yesterday we got some issues, but this is happening always, you know? Once you're just getting better and better and better, uh, you're discovering that new things are just gonna happen because when you just push harder and you go faster, the details are the most important things in the racing. But the good thing is that team uh, did work very well this weekend, but uh, nothing really serious, you know? Yeah. That feeling that with us, by coming back always. And I never got that feeling back as ginger man that I'm stopping the bike, safe, getting the curb, forget about clutch and whoop, clutch is holding me and coming back. Today is like, I followed two or three riders, which was good because I was hopping the pace. And once I get in the curve, the bike doesn't go down on, 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 on speed. So tomorrow we'll figure out this, all the one lap. That's okay. Very happy. I mean, 18 years of riding here. This morning was a mess. But this afternoon I go with the, with the boys. I, will, I wanted to say the kids because they're kids <laughs> against me, they're kids. <laughs> so I was behind the kids and I was keeping the pace. If every time we go out to the truck and we just pull that cap, which we can do, uh, it's, it's supposed to be in the middle of the, of the field tomorrow. All right, Saturday afternoon here at Laguna Seca WeatherTech Raceway. We're here at the Moto America King of the Baggers. Ruben uh, smoked an engine out here qualifying. This is a replay. Yeah, some smoke there. This is the same engine that we uh, not only had numerous dyno sessions with, but ran the BRL Michigan Gingerman races with. So, you know, we've got a good five days on this engine and uh, the rear cylinder let loose. So we've got a new 131 that's going in it right now. You know, another situation that we've had with the bike is we've been running a full slipper clutch and we've been on some smaller tracks with the BRL series and coming here to Laguna, we've got a bigger track. We've got uh, corner speeds uh, increased. We need to do a little bit more homework on it because we're not getting engine braking out of it. We've been using the STM slipper clutch with the Barnett components. So right now we're going with the full blown Barnett clutch package in it, which is gonna you know, raise his engine braking much higher than it's been. So that's something that he's got to watch out for. And the next time he's on the track, you know, the boys are humping their butts over here, working away, and uh, we've got a fresh engine, new clutch going in it. So, you know, let's see what Ruben does. See Ruben Chouse, World Superbike race winner. Uh, it's great to see him coming over this year, and getting his feet wet to keep the baggers. And I know he was expecting some big things in this class this year and showed up at Daytona. Things didn't really go his way. And they set out a couple of races as well. It's yeah, great to see Ruben back out this weekend. You see Jake Lewis there right behind him on that number 85. <laughs> different conditions than what these riders had for the morning warm-up. We have that thick fog in the area. If you uh, remember back, it had started to break up just a little bit uh, with during their morning
All right, guys, we're out here at Laguna Seca, Mission King of the Baggers. Yesterday was fairly successful for us. We finished in the top 10. Today, we're coming back with some fresh changes. We did a gear change, made some changes with the clutch, wheelbase, got Ruben feeling really confident, did some suspension adjustments. We're gonna go out and see what we can do today. The setup is very good. I mean, I like the bike. Okay. The problem is I get in the lines and I see everybody in front of me, they miss the lines. Everybody, when they get in, nobody keeps the line. I'm the perfect person. I go like this, I'm tough, tough, tough. Okay, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. We don't know many truck time on this weekend. And anyway, every time we go in, it's one second faster, one second faster. So yeah. with more truck time and more power, we are 31. Scheduled for nine laps in this one. Let's take a look at our race two grid. It's Kyle Wyman, Rocco Landers, and Hayden Gillum occupying the front row. Yeah, it's an all Harley front row. Then we have Herpos. So as soon as they go on, you're going to start hearing these big V twins rumble on. And we're away racing. It looks like the front row got a decent launch. Although it looks like Hayden Gillum gets swallowed up a little bit. Rocco Landers back into like fifth spot is the 97. So look who's leading. Yeah, that's exactly what he wants to do too. Kyle Wyman's gonna try to get out front. I think for Hayden Gillum, he wants to eliminate mistakes. He takes an immediate shot. Kyle Davidson, the drag race to the checkered flag. Kyle trying to make a move, and it's gonna be Hayden Gillum who holds on by a tenth of a second over Kyle Wyman. 